I will be greater. I will move farther. Only one of a thousand. I, atop the asteroids and my cousin down himself. I shall be the most high. I, who am half god and half giant, shall become the only god and giant. My fellow sky gods. My grandchildren, the earth gods. The weird sisters who believe in the myth that is fate. All shall expire, and only I, done shall remain. I shall make sport of the mortals to my heart's content. I shall bring back to life ghosts just to annihilate them again. Turn beauteousness into filth, and turn the light of the moon into the blaze. But hark, what is this I hear? The footsteps of one of Down's mortal descendants. Yes. It is Brian of the Dragon's Heart. So, he seeks to create a world bred on tolerance, trust, and forgiveness, does he? This I shall not allow. Let's stay. Brian Croy Dragon will know no enemy of mortal kind. This day he shall face the demigod of fire himself. I shall all manner of things send against him. My worshippers, those who have sold their souls to me, monsters of which he cannot imagine, Osherwood shall never come to be. Less done swears. Ah! <laughs> ah! You have word for me, Publius, on. What goes on amongst the guard, have you? That I do, sire. And what have you to report? Dominico has had a dream of an Eastern act named Croy Dragon. Go on. I won't hear of this. In his dream, Croy Dragon did speak to Dowl. Is that all you have to report? A dream of an Eastranach speaking to one of his gods? Nay, sire. Down did speak back. Ah, and what did he speak back to Croy Dragon about? What was the topic of the conversation? A place called Oshawood, sire. Oshawood. It is a name most strange. What is the meaning of this place? My lord, it is a place built on tolerance, forgiveness, and trust. All the things that brought you to power are against. Ah, so this is the meaning of this report, is it, Publius? Well then, if Dominico wishes to seek out this Osherwood, then have him brought to me. Send for the destroyer, and we shall make a public spectacle of Dominico. The destroyer shall whittle him with arrows. <sighs> it's been a long day, Bucephalus. Riding from town to town, village to village. Speaking about Oshawood and what it won't stand for. Is this an inn? I hope so, for I am hungry. And you could munch some good oats. Ah! Look as if there was already some men showing up for dinner. Maybe I... Is that... 
It can't be. No, it's him. You there! Identify yourself! WHO DARES TO APPROACH THE DESTROYER?! Throne of the Dragon's Heart! And you shall face me when you address me! Quoi, Dragon! Your Gear Falcon can't save you now! I don't need Down's boat to face you! YOU CANNOT DEFEAT THE DESTROYER! Thomas Mack and Cockatrice thought the same thing. And now he's dead. Mack and Cockatrice dead?! Yes, did you not understand what I just said? Or are you going deaf in your old age? YOU LIE, Quoi DRAGON! You cannot have slain Mac and Cockatrice! But I have. He had twenty years more battle experience than you! And twenty years more arrogance. The Destroyer shall kill you for this! Here? Now? When we're both in need of food? You cannot deny the Destroyer what he wants! Yeah, please. Good foe, stay focused. Do not speak to who is in there. Bah! Let's go, men! We shall make an example of this grump Malkin another time! Your master's stomach needs food! And I will not eat under the same roof as a heroic fool! Oh, farewell then, destroyer. And we shall face each other another day. Well, they're gone. Now, what to do about you, but you Cephalus? Can't leave you here to wander, as horses are to do. No, oh, that works. And that does not work. This is not a horse-friendly, uh, pen. Let's see how good you are at jumping. Very good. You remind me of a very big horse I met once. He was a giant to me, but when I saw him, I was very small. Benjamin, he was called. But to me, he was Big Ben. Where is he now, I wonder? Does he still live? But still, Bucephalus, I could ask for... No better horse than you. Whoa. Hmm. I guess whoever owns this place has been meaning to fill those horns up and hasn't gotten to them yet. The destroyer called whoever's in there a Grimalkin. That's an unkind word to call a woman. Therefore, it is a woman in there. Oh, terrific. I've been warning all night and now it's morning. Stone. Breakfast sounds... By down, she is comely.
Bane, Goddess of Love, Wife of Tao. I ask you just once to not be neutral and smile upon me alone. Hello. H who are you? From your accent, garb, and sobriquet, I guess that you are an Easternak. But why do you stand against your own kind? My name is Brian. Y you are that Croy Dragon? But you are so young. Y young? <coughs> well, yes. I was expecting someone in their late thirties, not someone in their late teens. But you can't be much younger than me. Who are you? My name is Catherine. Alright, anything else? You want to know about me? There is nothing worth knowing about me. That cannot be true. There is always something worth knowing about someone. I shall say only this. I am not of your race, but I am just as you. Now, you must be hungry. Let me get you some food. If that is all, I shall not pry. And let us close the door. And not let the rain in. Smile upon him. My husband and son smile upon him too much. As does my cousin in law's granddaughter. I will not smile upon him. I shall test him. He and Catherine shall not be together. But I shall see what his reaction will be. To her ending up with someone who is not he. So let it be written. So let it be done. So. Dunn wishes to destroy Blind Cry Dragon. And Fane wishes to see his reaction. To a woman ending up with a man who is not he. I may do what I can to combat Dunn. For only a god may defeat a god. And I may only hope that Brian's reaction will not result in his death or his damnation to the nether. Osherwood must come into existence. For too long the world has been without order. For too long, prejudice, revenge, and betrayal have caused it to go round. No longer shall my evil cousin See his joys in the world. So I say, let there be good! <laughs>